Hi, my name is Daniel Graverson and I'm from AppMemberSite.com and in this short video, I'll probably, it's not going to be short, I'll show you how you can create a squeeze page in Optimized Press and how you put the, the forms and everything up in place. So, if you want to, to get more of these free videos, go to adminbarsite.com slash free and get even more of these videos. So, before we get started, make sure you have installed Optimize Press. If not, you can find it at, at this link and I'll get a failure commission from that. So, I can create these uh, videos for you. Have a video for the up, up in promise that we can po post. And then we need to have an auto autoresponder that we can connect to this. And I, I do like uh, get response. And if you buy it through this link, you will get, I, I think maybe thirty dollar off, uh, something like that. I'm not quite sure on on what it is. Uh, but let's get started. So here I have uh, my page, and this is the front page we created earlier that I didn't put a lot of uh, effort into. I do select uh, the squeeze page one here in the this menu. And then we have the squeeze page option here that we can start filling in data. First up, let's uh, use the video here. And it says it has to be 800, uh, 628 times 533, uh, 355. Good good day this one and I'll just have to find my video. It's over here uh, I hope. Properties I'm using hosting them on, on Amazon um, And that we can see here we have the video and here, so we need to post it into both of these. Uh, here it's the iPad compatible one, and here's the other one. Uh, we could also put in uh, YouTube videos if we want to do that. But one nice thing about this is I'd like the the autoplay that that this has. Uh, click the shadow and control bar. We don't need that one. Uh, but if we do that. Put a video here and say update and new page. Then we can see the the page here. We can see hey, that my name is Dan Guerrero. This auto creator of PI course and and that's pretty much it. Then we need to put in some information about this uh, opt-in area here and it's just here and we need uh, we're using the bluish tube so let's use this one and here and a header As a PPI and spam notice and then the next thing is we need to create an autoresponder that we can use for, for this and that's a little more tricky and um, well, here in in uh, get response, you just say login, or buy or whatever. You get through and log in, and then we need to create a campaign for for this. And uh, so the way you'd create a campaign here is, dum 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 dum. This is always fun. Oh, I guess it's here. Campaign preferences, uh, campaigns, 
create a new campaign and this is pi pi course and would like to copy from sub pi for everybody um, so now we have created a new campaign that we can start putting in leads to and when they get leads into here they can uh, do whatever we want so we can create a newsletter uh, for them Oh, it's not news. news newsletter is what you get. Oh. Um, so newsletter is uh, is what you get when you just want to send them all your mail, all members uh, a message one time, or you can create the follow up and the follow up is more well after one day after five days after whatever you'd be getting these information so this will be a zero day welcome and this is okay and just like the standard here you should probably change this to whatever name you are using and they have a lot of great ideas about messages and i just like to use the the blank uh, um the, the one two column but the blank is just fine for me because then i can just put in my text box and that's normally what i do hi name and you have these uh, personalization here and you just say that and And then I'll put a link to whatever I needed to this this to be, and just say. So so this link would would point to the same one as we we'll get on later, where we would uh, when they have opted in, they should get a, a link. And might as well create it now. Slash value one and set user uh, we'll get more into to these details when we are creating the the launch sequence and how we want to do that but normally I would create a new page called value one where I would set users to this and that will make it possible for the autoresponder or the the launch funnel to to work but that's okay and next step oh when you're doing this the link here obviously um should be a valid link so you just need to open here and put it in also here so the user can click this link you can test the messages if you want to so now we have created follow-up it's more like what we have to do and then next is we'll create a new web form and we can just select any of these the data here is not used in any way uh, And I'd like to, to know where it's coming from. We don't want the confirmed opt in because, well, that will just mean the user has to go into the inbox, click OK, instead of just sending emails to them. Uh, subscribe via Facebook. I don't know a lot about that. So thank you, UL. And that's then the same page 
where we're putting in these information here. And then we we'll go to, now we have created the form, we'll go into to this uh, HTML and put, paste it in here. Name, email, and then we have to find a box that we want to have. And I'd like the one give uh, give me instant access and let's take this one. Just scroll down all the way to the bottom. Select image. Um, social media settings. We can activate that. It's not that useful here. Comments. Uh, activate comments. We don't want that either. Uh, we could add something about uh, with this if, if they move away from the page um, and then we obviously need to get the write some more text here to make sure that they know what they'll be getting so let's try a new tab so now we can see hey, we have a video, it's Guru. auto and start player, we have the text start here. And in this video, I, I want to post the, the And then we can start filling in the details here. I want here. to be a mm -hmm. PI consultant, how do I do that? And one of the things and that I've done is... just get in access, like this will sign me up as a user and say, okay, I don't have this page yet. So that was all the things you needed to do to create a squeeze page. Obviously, you need to get some more uh, use in, in, in this uh, section here. We also covered how to get create the autoresponder. Um, and that was a pretty good session. Hope you liked it. Uh, until we see you again nec uh, next time, goodbye. Oh, uh, for, remember to, to sign up for, for appmembersite.com slash free to get even more videos about creating membership sites or sign up to the YouTube channel that you're on. Bye.